I really believe that the arts have bigger purpose. The arts actually are moments of transformation that connect us in the most human way to one another and that they can transform us in the process of participating in them. I was at CSUN when it was a school that was basically beginning. And yet it was an important place because it was a state university within reachable distance and made my education possible. I really probably would not have been educated except for that state university provided an entrance way for families who didn't have the resources to send their children to major universities that cost so much money to, to bring people in. I began to think about how art could be applied. And in a sense, I had to move beyond what was the classic training into another way of thinking about how art could be applied in a community setting. And I saw the capacity of the arts to actually move across difference, to put people together and to collaborate. Like I'm often brought to areas of great conflict to work between people who are struggling with one another or in a place to kind of recover or to heal. I like to work in those places because they provide the greatest challenge for me in terms of trying to figure out what is the what kind of site of public memory do the people need to elevate themselves, to begin to think about themselves in a different way. My first major big project was the beginning of the Great Wall of Los Angeles, which is now a half a mile long work that tells the history an alternate history of the U.S. and particularly of California that includes the contributions of the diversity of America. And I work with over 400 kids in the process of making that. But I see in the future that there will be new interaction in communities. There will be new methods of making sites of public memory by young artists who are inventing things that I haven't even dreamed of. <laughs>